We have extensive holdings in southern Utah. We got land here, here, right across to here. All rich in coal veins. Once we start our mining operation, there'll be a fortune in it for all of us. I'll be honest, J.R. We can do this without you. But it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and we thought we'd cut you in as a token of our appreciation. Excuse me, but isn't what you're talking about strip mining? Do you really think that you want to get into that at this particular time? I mean, strip mining has a terrible image. The public equates it with ravaging the land. Wait a minute. Who do you think... The lady, I don't think you know who you're talking to. Forgive me. Mr. Lee, but I do know who I'm talking to. I specialize in public relations. And I have worked very, very hard to redo all of Ewing Oil's image. Damn it, J.R. You letting her do all the talking for you now? You know, there's no reason to get all hot and bothered. Leslie, I think you're being a bit premature. Well, I don't think it's premature, J.R. I don't know what's wrong with you, J.R. Tail is sure wagging the dog around here. As far as I'm concerned, this meeting is over. Mary Lee. Jordan. Right behind you, Jordan. Well, I'm, I'm certainly glad, J.R., that you let me sit in on this meeting with you. Why, they would have dragged Ewing Oil right down into the mud. Don't you ever do that to me again. What are you talking about? J.R., Ewing Oil is back on top again. Let's keep it that way. Leslie, I care enough about you not to shut you up in front of my friends. But I'm not going to put up with you interfering in front of them. Not while I'm talking business. My daddy's going to hit the ceiling when he hears about this. Hey, Jordan. Come on over, let me buy you a drink. What, uh, what happened? You tell me what happened. Oh, well, did the meeting go well? It didn't go at all. What do you mean, it didn't go at all? What's that son of yours, J.R.? He seems to be letting that witch Leslie Stewart lead him around by the nose. We can't do business with J.R. Not so long as that uppity broad is calling the shots at you and all. I couldn't believe it. My own son. Letting some little no count out of cat swing you with a big toe. Letting her screw up the deal with a cartel. I thought I brought you up better than that. The woman's place is in the bedroom. Sure as hell not in the boardroom. Very nice, Jock. Oh, didn't know you come in, Ellie. Obviously. Now, look, Miss Ellie, you know that I didn't mean to. I know what you meant. You believe that the woman's place is two steps behind the man, except when walking through a minefield. You don't understand, Ellie. J.R. let that uppity Leslie Stewart spoil his deal with the cartel. Well, you and J.R. should know all about spoilers, Jock. Now, what's that supposed to mean, Miss Ellie? Everything you touch, you spoil. Relationships, people's lives. Well, Mama, I think you're exaggerating a little bit. Am I? J.R., you and your daddy use people up and then throw them away. Even members of your own family. You both sicken me.